recording. Um, we're going to hope the lighting is agreeable. I've added extra lights. <laughs> so it's this, the clouds can't decide what they want to do. So um, I have been promising you guys that I would show you this. So I'm here to show you this. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? Look at that. I'm just going to let y'all take that in for a second. There's the back. This is... Chic Sparrow's new Outlander leather. This is in the color Wine. I don't know if it's Wine or Wine with everything, but regardless, you know, if you're going to go to the site and look for it, if you search for Wine, um, this is it. Isn't it pretty? Oh. So this is the new Outlander leather, and I am going to try to make time today or tomorrow to do a comparison. A couple people had asked to see this new Outlander leather um, next to the original Outlander leather, which was like the um, Cosmopolitan Brown, Jitney Red. I've got a couple of those too, so I will get those off the shelves and show them to you when it's actually on my desk. But look at that. Now, I have not rolled this. Like I said, I did smoosh it around a little bit, and basically all that means, you guys, is I emptied this out, okay, and I just kind of took it by the cover. I'll show you with the blue one. So that's wine, okay? Gee, make tangents much, Carrie? Sorry. <laughs> Here is... The navy blue, it's called Time Traveler. I don't know how well that is going to show up, if it may come up kind of black because I'm in front of extra lights in the open window, but it is a gorgeous navy blue. You guys know I'm like, I'm a sucker for navy blue like I'm a sucker for pink, you know? Um, but to smoosh, as I put it in the Facebook group the other day, um, here's the inside. Look at that. These are both Pocket Plus, by the way, so they've got six elastics in there. I just take it when it's empty and just kind of like like this. Just kind of give it a little smoosh. I don't know what else to call it. Wiggle it? I wiggle it a little bit. I will not sing the song because that will show my age greatly. But I just kind of like, you know, just kind of give them a little, a little smoosh. That's all. I and mean, this leather is like, you guys, seriously, it just molds right around everything. It's like a bada. So that's the navy. But that's how you smush. Just in case you guys were wondering, I know several people had asked, make a video showing you smooshing your leather. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. I just take the empty notebook and kind of, you know, I don't roll it. If I'm going to roll it, I downright, like, take it and, you know, roll it. Um, these, I haven't done that. It's, they're really, really pliable, malleable, really right out of the package. So this navy blue, this time traveler, is for April. So I'm going to put him back in his bag. But... I will show you guys what I have going on in here now that I've shown you the smooshing and the colors. Um, I don't really have more in here than I normally carry in a pocket size. This is a pocket plus. Um, I, I just wanted the extra room because I really, really like how my pens tuck in there inside the covers. You see what I'm talking about? I really like that. So I'm going to flip the camera down and show you what I have going on inside here. If you guys have any questions, just holler um, and let me know. Okay? Thanks so okay. much. Okay, we're going to see how this works. I am I'm honestly kind of fighting with the tripod today. Today the tripod is smarter than me. This is no surprise. Okay, Pocket Plus, Chic Sparrow, Outlander, and Wine. Um, I threw some ribbon on there. These two charms are from Pick Up Sticks Jewelry. So that one says, so many books, so little time. And this side says she loves books. And this one's a little hourglass that actually has sand in it that moves. It's so cute. So those are from Pick Up Sticks Jewelry. And then on the inside, um, I do have a, a nano size notebook from Cheek Sparrow. Cheek Sparrow, bleh, I can't talk today, you guys. Not a day to be recording if you can't talk. Um, so I took my license and my debit card out of these pockets and put them in the nano. Um, <clears throat> if I'm only taking this with me, that's what goes up there. I just have some scratch paper in the back there. Um, most of my insert covers are from um, digital scrapbooking kits from Digital Designs by Jody on Etsy. So if you see something you like, most everything in here is from her. And I have just opened them up in pages on the Mac, started with paper, and then she has the embellishments, and I just kind of drag and drop stuff and resize stuff and mess with it till I like the way it looks. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just play with it till I like the way it looks. Um, the first insert in here, oh, and I threw a, a Target Dollar Spot pocket on there with sticker samplers from my newest addiction and Planner Kate and Allie Brown. First insert, you guys always know, it's either the first insert or the last insert, always, is... The month on two pages horizontal for the full year from Marcia Bermucci on Etsy. You guys know I love this insert. I love it because I can get so much on it. Um, if you're new here, if this is the first time you're watching a video, 
then this is, you know, something you haven't seen, but I know most of you guys have seen these before. Um, this side I just put holidays, days off school, the vertical column here, I add this line. Okay, so you get a column for the days, the column for the dates, and then I add this line over here and I just put in triangles um, in red for Mike's home and away games for hockey. So I know when he's going to be on the road, just at a quick glance. Um, days the kids have off school, um, this was the boy who goes away to school, this was his spring break last week, so it's marked there. Days that Hunter has practice, everything's color-coded. Orange is like home stuff, holidays, stuff like that. Um, light blue is generally um, just all of the boys or the boys that are still um, in like, you know, high school and junior high age. So. Um, bills I put over here in light green and then, oh I forgot to cross that off, I just cross them off when I pay them and then um, this is, I'm taking a couple of online classes so that's what's going on over here and I added, because I have the day or the month on two pages, I added the dates again, see how it was Wednesday the first over here, I added them in this column again. Um, I can put more on here now than I was last year because I stopped keeping track of um, Mike's clinic stuff on here. I put all that in a separate book that I'm actually going to show you guys in a separate video because I am in love with that book for the clinic stuff. So that is from Marcia Bermucci on Etsy. It is the horizontal month on one page or month on two pages. It comes both ways in the file. You can do a month on a page or you can have the whole spread be the month. Okay? Boy, I should have gotten a drink before I started. Um, and then in the rest of the first insert, I have stickers from Planner Kate which as you can see, I love because I use them all up. I put all the stickers for the month in here. So when April rolls around, these will come out and I have all the my April stickers. Um, I use the, I put the month in and then the kits that I have for each week. And I use them very functionally, you guys. They're extremely functional stickers. They're pretty, but they're functional, which I love. This is just a Project Life card that I added some letters to. You guys see this in every single planner. I always have it in a planner. I always have something stuck to the back, usually page flags. Um, this is a printable from Marcia Bermucci, same person who made this first insert. Um, in her Facebook group, she put these in the file section for free. She watercolored these and then she put them up for free, which is so kind. And look how pretty they are. I have another one further back too. So gorgeous. So I had to print those out and stick them in there. And then this is the back of that that Project Life card. Here I just taped two of them together. This insert is the DIY Fish version carry inserts. I already pulled out Marches because everything else that I have yet to do this month is kind of revolving around three big things. I have to move all of the websites that I administrate to new servers and that is taking a lot of time. So until I get that done there really isn't anything else going on for project stuff besides um, little things for the magazine here and there and getting this stuff recorded. So I pulled out January, February, and March, and I put in April, May, and June. So these are just, you guys have seen these before. These are also DIY fish on Etsy. This is version Carrie because she's awesome, and I asked her if she could put something together like this, I don't know, maybe almost a year and a half, two years ago. And of course, fish being who she is, she did an awesome job. So those will be projects for April, May, and June. Coletto pen. And then this is just acetate from Michael's. This is vellum from Michaels that I discovered the other day I could print on. It was totally an experiment. Um, I got some watercolor, um, watercolor digital paper on Etsy, and now I have to stop and think. The name of the shop is Small House Big Pony, if I remember correctly. Beautiful watercolor floral downloadable digital like sheets and clip art and stuff. Beautiful. So I ran it through the printer just because I was curious. I have an inkjet printer. Um, if you try this, mine did fine. I have it, an older and my printer is older, but it's still working. So I'm not in any hurry to replace it. Um, Dell printer and I, it's an inkjet. So I just had to, you know, when I got done printing, I just set it down. I just let it dry. Um, but I thought it did a pretty darn good job. So I got some vellum in there. Um, this is also stuff from Digital Designs by Jody on Etsy. This one I just stuck in here last night. This is just notes. Random, random journaling, random stuff. That's what goes in there. This is another one of those printables from Marcia Bermucci's Facebook group that she made. Isn't that adorable? It's so pretty. This is from Small House Big Pony. More acetate from Michaels. Another sheet of vellum I wanted to try. Since I tried a light one on the other one, I wanted to try a dark one as well. Boy, I am like crooked and not in frame. And oh man, this has got to be frustrating. There we go. And also Digital Designs by Jody. This is kind of the meat of what I have going on. This is what I keep changing. Um, so I've got 
post-its stuck all over the place. My regular page flags, you guys know I love my page flags. Um, this is DIY Fish with Planner Kate stickers, a little bit of washi. Um, DIY Fish V3S2, so it's the month. And then it is, let me get to this week, sorry guys. A week on two pages, so your days are over here, you have a bunch of space for notes over here, tracker down here. Okay, so that is the field note size V3S2 from DIY Fish. This is the part I keep changing, not this, but this next part. I'm sitting on the floor to record this. I'm, there is not a comfy place to be had. Um, I have from DIY Fish, because I, I messaged her and asked if she had it, because she used to and I didn't see it in the shop anymore, field note size of uh, version 2.2 day on two pages, which I love. I absolutely love. If I'm going to have a day on two pages, that's the one I like. My other one I really like, I really like Annie Plans printables. Um, daily pages. So I messaged Annie also and I was like, hey Annie, would you ever consider doing a day on two pages? And she's like, yeah, let me look at it. And she sent me a couple things to look at and I sent back, you know, well, I like this and, you know, could this be like that and blah, blah, blah. And she sent me back a couple of pictures of things and this is what she set, you know, settled on doing after playing with it for quite a while. And I'll tell you what, you guys, Fish, Annie from Annie Plans Printables, Marcia, all you guys out there who make printables, I don't know how you do it because believe me, I tried fiddling around with stuff like this by myself and I definitely do not have a knack for it. So <laughs> kudos to you ladies for figuring this stuff out. Um, so these are what I'm using right now. Um, I keep going back and forth between this one and the DIY Fish one. What I'm kind of learning is sometimes I like having the whole month's worth of day on two pages in here. Sometimes I only need the week. So if I want the whole month's worth, I have the DIY fish ones. If I only need the week, if, if I know there's not a lot coming up in the following week, um, the ones from Any Plants Printables, these are the pocket TN size, um, undated day on two pages. Oh, hold on. Hey, I'm almost done. Okay, I will look it up in just a moment. I'm almost done, okay? Sorry, guys. Liam wants something. Um, these are from Annie. She has, it's just a week's worth. So your times are over here and see like Tuesday was a real quiet day. Um, here is the times. Here I've been putting tasks and here are notes and more tasks. Okay, so you've got your day on two pages, but it's only for the week. So it's not really super thick. I personally don't mind the bulk of having a full month's worth in here, but that's just me. Um, I know a lot of people might find that to be way too bulky. Hello, Liam. I'm just so sweet. You are helping. So I put my day on two pages in the middle of my week on two pages from DIY Fish. You see that? So they're all in one notebook. And because I did have this little week from Annie on a separate string and that seemed kind of silly because I had to use a jump band for one of these. It's a super thin insert. It's great because you can get a lot of information in there for being in one insert. Hey, I'm almost done, okay? So that is what I have going on there. There are more page flags. Can you see your hand in the screen? I want to see me. We need to trim your nails again Mommy. already. Oh, can I see your face? I want to see your face. We will watch the beginning when I'm done, okay? Mommy, I want to see your face and in there. And then this next one is all notes for videos and stuff for the magazine. So I've got review stuff in here that I have got to get done. Um, contributor page for the magazine, notes for a video, notes for an interview for the magazine. This is all stuff for the magazine issues back here. No, no, don't touch it. Um, these little tabs, a lot of people ask me about these little monthly tabs. Can you see them right there? Where it says August, October, December. I have them up here in front as well. Those are from a Snap Stories kit that I got from Michaels a long time ago. Occasionally they'll show up on um, Amazon, but a lot of people ask about that. So that's all that is. It's just a field notes notebook that I honestly took the cover off of so it'd be a little more flexible. And put in there. That's all videos, magazine, notes, stuff. And then this last section is my list. This is the same list one I've probably had in here since I don't even know when, last fall maybe. Stop reaching in front for just a second. This is a grid Tomoe River paper insert. I honestly don't, let me look. I think this one, I'm 99% sure this is from Goulet Pens. I want that. I want the card. You want the card? Okay, hold on. We'll get the card out in a second. And then in the back, I just have um, some Chic Sparrow business cards. And we touch in the screen and some scratch paper and my pullout calendar for the year. This is also from Annie Plants Printables. I put this together. Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I'm almost done. If you let me finish, I can look up your game, okay? 
help me help me unfold this can you hold this side okay. this is the year pull out this is from last summer from Annie Plants Printables so you know, I'm trying to get the camera you're getting the camera um, so this has stuff like days the kids are ah. off of school um, Clayton the one who's away at school um, what his breaks are when his finals are um, so that I know when I'll be driving back and forth to get him and um, Mike's home games and away games Mommy. This matches very Mommy, the color coding in the very front in that month on two pages. Okay, hey, when I'm recording, we need to shush for just a minute. So that is it, you guys. That is the current setup for this month. Um, next month I will be going. Next month I'll be going into the navy blue notebook. But that is it for now. If you guys have any questions, give me a holler. I apologize for the interruption. Somebody's being very helpful today. Can we wave bye bye? I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Thanks so much. Go down here. Go bye bye.